If you look in the top of the builder, there's this bar going across the top. On the very left, there's going to be this three-lined menu, and if you click on that, you can go back to the Websites Manager of your Homestead account and do the tour and stuff, but I want to focus on these options. You can add grid settings or snapping settings, which is really uh, good for alignment of elements, and you can toggle the rulers that you see on the side and the top of the builder right here. You could turn those on and off, also helps with alignment. Um, under current page, you're going to see the pages that you have on your website, much like you would if you clicked on pages right here. And so you can switch between pages that way. And you're going to see these two icons. Now this icon is probably one of the most important features within Website Builder because these icons allow you to switch between the mobile version of your website and the desktop. Now, I'm going to go over an entire editing the mobile site video later, but this is just where you go to edit the mobile site. Going further to the left, there's the undo and redo button. So if you make a change in your builder and you decide you don't like it, you can undo it. Or if you decide you want it back, you can redo. Um, and that'll, that'll help make any little corrections in the moment. This is also an icon for the save history, which you also saw under manage, just an easier way to get to it if you want to really quick. And then there's, of course, the save, preview, and publish buttons. If you click help, it's going to bring you into our online community, which is a super good resource. Um, it has articles on the new builder, how-to articles that give you step-by-step -step instructions with pictures. It has a search bar so you can search specific things you want to look for. And if you can't find the answer to what you're looking for, you can ask a question and we'll answer it for you. Um, and then lastly, there's the upgrade button, which, as I mentioned before, is only if you want to get a store on your website. If you're not looking for e-commerce, then just pretend like this button doesn't exist.